I had a dream last night and the DoorDash representative told me they've been telling me something was coming big this summer and I believe it's this isn't what's going to happen now we're already in the summer we haven't heard anything majorly different but it's going to happen in 2025 and I'm going to tell you why my dream last night was DoorDash stupid but I had a dream I was on a dash and on the interface of the screen it showed me the names of the dashers that were out in my zone and it was I remember in the dream I'm looking at the names first and last name I thought what is going on this is weird anyways DoorDash is going to begin I'm telling you all this is going to happen DoorDash is going to begin to show us how many dashes are in your zone when you're on a dash like when you hit dash now or before this is why it'll benefit them it'll benefit us I'm going to tell you that right now listen Uber does it already a little bit. If you're at like an airport, it'll tell you how many Uber X's are there or whatever. If you're an Uber consumer, it tells you that is an icon of a car. And it shows you how many Ubers, guys or gals, are active in, in the proximity. So as a consumer, it kind of helps you, oh, there's some cars that are close or this or that. Let me tell you why DoorDash is going to do this and why it's going to be good. First, number one, let's assume that there's a lot. Let's, let's talk about how it's going to help us. Let's say there's a lot of dashers in this zone right now and I want to dash. And I see it says 50. Let's just throw that number out there. It's Monday night, it says 50 people are in your zone right now. A lot of people will be like, oh, maybe that's too many, maybe it's not. Eventually you'll get to learn what number's good or what number's high, what number's low. A lot of us would like to, we want to know what the true saturation is. Am I going to be able to make money tonight? So one thing we think about before we hit dash now, am I going to be able to make money tonight? Especially if you're new. What's going to happen is, if you see that number that looks high, that will deter some from dashing now. In return, helping the people that are already making money. If I'm a dasher and I turn it on and it says five, that's gonna help me, because I'm like, ooh, there might be some bread to be made today. Maybe it's raining, maybe it's bad weather, maybe it's cold, maybe it's hot. There's not a lot of people, less people, more money most of the time. Now. Why do I think DoorDash is going to do that? I know this is a dream. I know some of y'all, Pedro's lost his mind. He's a conspiracy theorist. No, it's going to happen. I'm going to call it right now. I like to call my shot with these apps sometimes. And I'm going to call it, and it's going to happen in 2025. Now, how does this help DoorDash? Because it can't just be about us. Hear me out. DoorDash will benefit from this by having more confidence when people dash. Now, we know and we feel the saturation is a thing. It's out there. A lot of drivers year over year are making less money. There's too many people on the apps, blah, 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 blah. But if we, the more information we have as dashers, the better. We're not going to get tip transparency. We're not going to get full transparency on DoorDash. Not going to happen. Not ever going to happen. And we're never going to have this land uh, this this landscape of all this legislation to where it might help like in New York City where you see the full tips and it never going to happen never going to happen never going to happen however the more confidence that is instilled within a dasher by having more information about saturation the confidence of money da, 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 it makes people want to work to add more the OGs the people that have been doing this a while it gives more confidence and a better feeling of new dashers as you start to learn, if you dash now, oh, there's 50 people, oh, there's five people, oh, there's 100 people, it allows you to make better decisions. I think that in then return has the people out that really need to make money or want to make money or in a good mindset, trickles down to the consumer, might help the merchant. Listen, if anything, it will be beneficial for us. You let me know in the comments, do you think, do you want that? Would you want to know how many people are actively on the app? Not what DoorDash tells us, oh, there's millions of drivers or there's this many in St. Louis or there's this many in the Midwest. No, how many people are actively working? How many people are scheduled to work? How would that information impact the three of us that do this? The driver, the company, the, the consumer. I had that dream and woke up and was like, man, that's, that's kind of, that's weird. We've talked about it before on many lives. Other people have talked about it. Would you like to know how many people are out? Would that be beneficial on the apps? I think situationally, it could. Now, most of us, when we turn an app on, if that number is whatever it is, that might not deter you at all from actually wanting to work. But a lot of us come to our cars, turn on the app, and it doesn't go off for five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. I've had, I've had Uber Eats on, and I haven't got a ping 
in an hour or two. Many of you guys come to a live or a comments or make a video and say, man, I haven't had anything for 30 minutes on DoorDash, 40 minutes on DoorDash, nothing. That could be twofold, no demand or too many people, too many uh, drivers. And with the tier program, the acceptance rate thing, I'll get into that later this week. The lower you are in that tier, the less opportunities overall throughout your shift you are going to see, point blank, period. So if you can see how many people are out there, the more people out there, the more tier program platinum dashers are gonna be out there, right? So you can make the decision to stay away, focus on another app, do something else. The less that are out there, more opportunity. It could help us. DoorDash will have this in 2025. DoorDash, you should have this. I think it could be a benefit. You guys tell me. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I had a dream and it was just... Maybe it's reality. Maybe it's something that... A premonition. Maybe it's something they've been working on. Maybe it's the new test. Beta test program. Pilot program. I can completely see me getting an email. Well, I'm not on DoorDash anymore, but you getting an email in the upcoming weeks or months saying we're going to show you we're testing in this market st louis missouri to show you how many dashers are working towards their goals just like you right now knowledge is power information we're giving to you dashers to make a better decision if you want to work and then also let me add on why it would help doordash they can manipulate that number. You guys already, some of you already think they manipulate the pay, they manipulate this, they manipulate the tier program, they manipulate whatever it is. They could fluctuate that number based on your activity, based on, oh, well, this person sees that there's a large number and they don't dash, or they still do. This person sees that there's not a lot and it, they dash. It's similar to peak pay. They, they dangle that peak pay out there and there's usually a surge of drivers. And if you've been doing this longer, if you understand that if there's peak pay, I can't make money. There's too many drivers. DoorDash can manipulate that number and figure out how you want to work. That's how it also benefits them. But situationally, let's assume they don't manipulate it. It would help me make a decision. If I'm a DoorDash driver and I see a big number, I ain't gonna stay out. Anyway, that's my dream. It's fun to come up with these scenarios and conspiracies and what's coming. And I believe it's coming. So you heard it here first. What is today? July 22nd, 2024. In 2025, at some point, maybe sooner, they're going to show us Dasher Inside information. Think about all the things that DoorDash has done. Driver insights, your braking, uh, uh, safety reporting. You can do this, you can do that. They got the programs. They got make sure all the items are in the back. All these things that they do, they're going to add that number. You guys tell me what you think in the comments below. Peace.